But then suddenly, around 12,800 years ago, global temperatures just rocketed down. And they went back to the same level that they were at at the peak of the last ice age. Uh, and then you have 1,200 years of extremely cold weather. This is the period when all the great megafauna go extinct. And then, around 11,600 years ago, the world suddenly warms up again, very dramatically, very suddenly. And that period of 1,200 years, that's called the Younger Dryas. That's the name that's given to it after a particular kind of alpine flower that flourishes in cold conditions. Uh, we're, we're looking at a, a huge extinctions of the megafauna, both in North America and in South America and in Europe and in Siberia, all over the world. But the question is, what caused it? What, 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 what caused the cataclysm? What explanation that's given by the mainstream on this really begs further questions. What, they, what is said is that there's a thing called the global meridional overturning circulation of which the Gulf Stream is a part. It's a flow of warm and cold water currents that travel around the whole of the world ocean. And the Gulf Stream in particular plays a very important role in keeping the northern latitudes warm.